Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll cover how to create facial rigging using image textures. First, press Ctrl plus A and apply the scale. Then, adjust the UV map to match the size of your face texture. Duplicate the face, then press P and choose Separate by selection. In the Shader Editor, copy the Texture node set up from earlier, then add a new Image Texture node and load all your face texture images at once. Don't forget to check Cyclic and Auto Refresh on the Image Texture node. Adjust the UV map again to make sure each image fits correctly. Right-click on the offset value of the image texture, then choose Add Driver. Add a single bone and position it. Make sure you're in object mode when moving it so the origin stays in place. driver tab, set the object to your armature, then choose the specific bone you want to control it. Now, set up the expression, give the variable a clear name, and assign numerical values that correspond to each image texture. Make sure the variable name in the expression matches exactly with the one you defined. Animate the bone movement the way you want. Add an image reference using a mesh plane. This will help you visually align the parameters. Apply a limit location constraint to the bone.
and adjust the distance it moves to control the image switching. You can tweak the vertex positions on the UV map to make it easier to align the bones. After that, I adjusted the vertex position right at the center of the reference image. This helps make the bone movement more precise and aligned when switching between textures. Create a custom mesh like an arrow or icon to use as the bone's custom shape. Next, go to the bone's viewport display settings. Under custom shape, select the arrow object you created earlier. This will make it easier to see and control the facial rig during animation. Make sure the arrow's origin is set at the tip of the arrow. This ensures accurate positioning when used as a custom bone shape. Position both the helper image and the custom bone shape properly. all the objects to the main body. This keeps everything connected and moves together during animation. Notice the face textures changing automatically when scrubbing the timeline. Fix it by setting the frame's value in the image texture node to 1. Now, on to animation. There are two main ways to animate the facial textures. First method, set up the first face, then duplicate the keyframe. This ensures precise texture switching. Second method, choose the desired face texture and keyframe it. Then, select the keyframes, press T, and set them to constant interpolation for instant switching. And that's it. Your facial rig is ready for animation. If this video helped you out, feel free to like and subscribe. It really supports the channel and keeps me going. See you in the next one.